Hi guys, Laura with Evolution Pilates Studio here to bring you a Pilates mat workout using a mini ball. Today we're going to focus on our core, our outer hips, our glutes, and a little upper back. All you'll need for this workout is a ball and your mat. As always, make sure you listen to your body. This is a multi-level class. I will be giving some modifications, but if you need to take an additional modification or skip an exercise, please feel free to make this your workout. When you're ready, grab your equipment and we will get started. Alright guys, when you're ready, let's turn sideways. We're going to take our ball right between the inner thighs and just sit up nice and tall. Squeeze the ball a little bit with those inner thighs. When you're ready, let's do a few shoulder rolls up, back and down. Releasing all that tension. One more this direction and switch up and around. Nice. Beautiful. One more up, back and down. Settle those shoulders on the back. Your hands are behind your thighs. Gentle squeeze in on the ball. Round the spine back and sit up. Round the spine back and sit up. So every time you round that spine back, you're tucking your tailbone under, you're scooping out your abdominals and using your arms as much as needed to support the spine. Collarbones are wide here. Two more to come. Last time. Nice, from here we are going to roll back, release our arms and continue our way all the way down to the mat. Arms down by the sides. Drag your heels in so they're in line with your sit bones. Squeeze that ball and let's lift and lower the hips. Nice. So for now we are just straight lifting. We're not articulating the spine. As you lift the hips up, imagine that your knees are traveling forward over your toes. Let's do four more here. And three. Good. Two. Pull those hips high on this last one. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the ball. And now pulse the hips up just a little bit towards the ceiling. That's it. Imagine your heels are sliding back towards your hips on the floor. Nice. We've got eight, seven, six, four, three, two. Now just squeeze that ball in, in, in. Soften the front of your ribs here and project your hips up to the ceiling. You've got eight and six, four, Three, let's hold the squeeze on the ball and now let's articulate the spine down one vertebra at a time. Good. Last thing to come down is the tailbone. Now we roll right back up, feeling the spine up off of the mat, finding a long line at the top. Let's go again. Down. Last thing to come down is the tail and roll up. Beautiful, one more like that. Roll it down nice and slow here. Keep tucking that tailbone under till your last moment. Last time, roll it up. Beautiful, hold it up at the top. From here, just little tailbone tucks under. Tuck, release, tuck, release. You've got to squeeze on that ball still. You've got eight, seven, Six. Make sure you've got weight in your big toes and pinky toes. Four more. And three. The last two. And last time. Roll the spine all the way down. Settle the tailbone. Squeeze the ball. Bring your hands back behind your head. Lift your elbows into your peripheral when you're ready. Curl up and down. Exhale up and down. Head is heavy in the hands. You're just using those ribs sliding down to the hips. Now add a little more squeeze on that ball as you lift the chest. Exhale. Nice, so we are moving fairly quickly today. In our transitions from exercise to exercise, feel free to slow it down a little bit. At any point you can take a break, grab a sip of water, readjust. 
really feel that you can make this work out your own. Nice, four more just like this. Three. Last two. And last time. Now hold, little pulse, little squeeze on the ball. Up. Up and squeeze. Up and squeeze. Last eight. And six. Four. Three. Two. And one. Lower the head down. Very nice. Arms down by the sides, or grab that ball between your hands. If you're not using the ball between your hands, just place it down by your side. Bring your knees into tabletop, soften the back ribs, toe taps forward. Here we go, right, left. Now the toes don't have to touch all the way down. You can make this movement much smaller. The first most important thing is that your spine stays nice and steady, your back ribs stay loaded on the mat. Nice, now arms overhead and up to the ceiling is an option to add our movement. Nice job, guys. Last eight, seven. Four more to come. Last two last time. Very nice. Reach those toes up to the ceiling. Take that ball in between your ankles now. Good. Reach your hands up towards your ankles as well. Let's reach up and try to touch that ball. Here we go. Up. Up. You can have a soft bend in your knees here, especially if you've got ultra tight hamstrings. I'd rather that to have a soft bend than try to struggle with those straight legs. Now add a little squeeze on the ball as you lift up. Exhale, lift. Exhale, lift. Good, four more. Three. Last two. Head gets to find the floor now. Arms down by the sides or underneath the sacrum. Little hip lifts. Up and down. Up and down. Exhale on that lift. Four more here. Three. Last two. And last one. Very nice. Bend the knees. Widen the arms on the floor. Reassess your ribs. Make sure they're heavy. Let's move the knees to one side. So we go over and center and over and center. Your shoulders stay evenly weighted on the mat here. Again, as you come back center, try to avoid overarching the back. You've got just a few more side to side. One more each way. Last time. Good, toast to the ceiling, same thing. Over to one side and center. Over to the other side, and center. This movement can be really small, and you could continue with bent knees if straight legs is not an option. Four more here. Exhale back center, and three. Last two. Last time. Nice, let's make this into a circle. We go over to the left, down to the front, over to the right, and back center and reverse. Over to the right, down to the front, over to the left, center and reverse. Here we go. As small or large as you'd like, as long as the low ribs stay attached to the mat. Good, one more each way, guys. Abdominals should be feeling quite warm now. Nice, last round. Beautiful, bend those knees. Now let's take our feet down to the floor. You can have your feet planted or you can extend your legs nice and long. Flex the feet here, arms up to the ceiling. We're gonna roll up, squeeze that ball wherever you have it. Inhale, exhale. 
Chin to chest, arms go forward. Roll the spine all the way up. Sit up nice and tall. Now let's roll down again. Roll. Reach the arms. Good, start your exhale. Arms go forward, chin, neck, and chest lift. Roll up. Good, just one more here. Down. Reach. Last time, roll it up. Beautiful job. Now again, your knees can have a soft bend. I do want you to squeeze that ball. Take a breath, inhale, grow nice and tall. Exhale, reach your hands forward parallel to the floor. Good, stretch out that low back, really reach forward. And roll the spine up. Nice, just two more like that, big reach. Pull the navel back as you round forward. And roll up. Last time, can you grow taller every time you come up to the top of your movement? Let's see here, let's roll up, grow as tall as we can. Very nice. Bend the knees if they're not already. Take that ball right behind your sacrum. From here, we're gonna tuck our tailbone under. Make sure that ball is really anchored underneath that sacrum. Take your hands to your thighs. Take your inner thighs together. Scoop out your belly, tailbone tucks under, collarbones are open. Here we go, we lift, we lower. We lift, we lower. Now you wanna keep your abdominals engaged throughout the whole exercise. So at no point do we release our core. Four more here. Nice, now if you'd like, release your arms. The last two. Last time, you're gonna come down to your low point and pulse back. Down, down. Good, four, three, Last two, last one, hands to the thighs, scoop out the belly, release just your left arm. We're gonna pull the left elbow back and reach. So you're gonna rotate a little bit through the torso here, looking back towards that elbow as it reaches towards the floor. By no means does it have to touch the floor, but you could if you'd like. Good, hips are steady, you've got four more on this side, three, Last time, let's switch it out. Other side. Four more here, guys. Last two. Last time. Now, you can either alternate elbows or bring both elbows back at the same time. Let's re-tuck our tailbone under, scoop out that belly, and then choose alternating or same, same um, two elbows at the same time. Four more here. Last two. Last time, bring those arms forward. Lift and lower the arms. This can be one at a time or both. Four more to come. We're almost out of this position. We've got one more thing to do after this. Last two. Hands down or lifted. Little pulse. Eight. Squeeze your inner thighs a little tighter now. Six. Good, last four, last three, last two, and last time. Roll it all the way up. Take your hands to the fronts of your shins. Just give your spine a little reprieve there. Nice. Now we're gonna take that ball with us, bring it forward of the knees, and roll the spine all the way down. Beautiful job here. Take that ball right underneath your sacrum now. So the sacrum is that flat spot between your low back and your tailbone. Make sure that it's centered. Arms down by the sides here, knees and tabletop. We go back to those toe taps from the beginning of our session, this time adding the instability of the ball underneath the hips. Try to keep everything as steady and still as possible here. Nice, last eight, seven. Good, last four. Last two. And last 
time. From here, bring those knees up, shins drop parallel to the floor, flex the feet, bring the heels together and the knees apart. Let's press the legs out long and then bend the knees in. Out long and bend the knees in. Just four, stretch through those heels. Three, last two, and last time, pull the legs out, point the toes, lift and lower. Lift, lower. Think about stretching those toes all the way across the room. Four more here. How low you lower those legs is up to you. The last two. And last time. Hug the knees into the chest. Let's hold on to our left knee and just extend the right leg long, taking a bit of a stretch for the hip flexors. This is a nice little break here before we move on. Nice, bring both knees in, let's switch it out to the other side. Just carefully moving since we're on that wiggly ball. Good. All right, bring both feet down to the floor. Let's take that ball out from underneath us. We are gonna take it behind our left knee, squeeze that knee in, lift our head, neck, and chest up. Extend your other leg long across the room. Now that long leg is gonna lift up, go out to the side, around, and in. Up, out to the side, around, and in. Four more here. And three, try to keep both sides of the hips equally weighted on the mat. Last two. One more. Nice, hands behind the head. We tap the toe and reach. Tap and reach. Nice, eight, seven. Four more. Three, last two, and last time. Take your time, lower your head. Take that ball out, switch it to the other knee, squeeze it in. Hands to the shins, other leg extends long. Curl your head, neck, and chest up, and we circle our long leg. So we go up, out to the side, around, and down. Up, out to the side, around, and down. Just two more here. Working on that pelvic stability last time. Good, from here we tap down. Hands come back behind the head. Good, four more. The last two, and last time. Very nice job, lower the head down. Take that ball out for a moment. We're gonna rock and roll up to seated and do a little work side lying. So today I'm gonna to be up on my hand in a high side plank position. However, you could do this whole series down on the forearm, so that is up to you. If you'd rather, you can definitely do that. Now, our hand, if we're on it, is slightly forward of the shoulder. If you're on your forearm, the elbow is directly under the shoulder. That ball is coming back behind our top knee, and we are going to lift our hips. Shoulders away from the ears, belly is drawing in. Make sure you've got a good grip on that ball. Point the toe, here we go. Lower and lift that leg, down and up. Hand can be on the hip, hand can be behind the head. Four more here, good, three. Last two, last one, let's lower and lift the hips, down and up. Now you can eliminate the knee lift on these hip dips, or you can add it in to combine the two exercises into one. Four more here. Three. Last two. Last one. Let's try to take the hand behind the head. Sweep that knee forward. Good, sweep that knee back. Nice, forward and back. Good, four more here, four. Then we just have one more exercise on this side. Last two, last time. 
Good. From here, we're going to drop the knee to the knee, sweep it up and around and up. So it's like a little figure eight here. Beautiful job, guys. Four more. And then we're done on this side. Last two. And last time. Very nice. Lower the hips down. Remove that ball. Before we move on to the other side, let's just take a little side bend over to the other side. Feeling that nice stretch all the way down the obliques into the hip. Good, let's rotate over onto the other side. Hand or forearm, both knees are bent. Hand slightly in front of the shoulder or elbow directly underneath the shoulder. Ball behind the top knee, let's set it up. Make sure you're in a good position to start. Press away from the floor. Good. Lift and lower the top leg. Nice. Now your hips should be pressing forward here. Good, four more. That's it, three. The last two. Last one, let's lower and lift the hips. Down and up. Remember you can eliminate that knee lift as an option. Good, four more. And three. Last time. Lift the hips. Let's try to take the hand behind the head. Sweep the leg forward. Sweep the leg back. Forward and back. Nice, draw that belly button into the spine. That's it, four more here. Four, three, Last two, last, last exercise coming your way. Here's our figure eight. Knee down, knee up. Knee down, knee up. Four more to come. Three. Last two, and last time. Very nice. Lower the hips, remove that ball. Just place it right in front of you. Let's take that nice little stretch over to the side. Beautiful job. Very nice, come on to all fours with me. The ball is going to go under one hand and we're gonna reach it out to the front. Your opposite leg is gonna reach out to the back and then we're just gonna draw the knee into the elbow and stretch. In, out, in, out. Rounding the spine as the ball comes towards you. Good, four more. Three. Last two. Last one. Let's leave the arm and leg extended and just little lifts. Stretch the toe and the arm all the way across the room. Nice. Now start to walk your arm and leg out to a, the corners of your mat so they're reaching out on slight diagonals. Nice. You've got eight. Seven. Six. Four more here. Last two. And last time. Bring the ball down. Bring your knees behind your hips. Hips are square. We roll the ball forward and back. And you can stay down on your knees here or hover the knees. Toes the width of the mat. Hips are as square as you can make them. Nice. Four more here. Four. Three. Last two, and last time. Very nice job, carefully bring those knees down. Let's take the ball and switch it to underneath our other hand. Opposite arm and leg, reach forward and back. And now we drive the elbow to the knee, the knee to the elbow. Good, four more here. Three, last two, last one. Reach the arm and the leg out, little lifts, up, up. Now there is a tendency to let that low back go here. I really want you to draw the navel to the spine. Keep the spine nice and long, good. Now walk the arm and the leg out to the corners of your mat, little diagonal lift. 
Last eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Knees come down, ball under one hand. Walk the knees back wide on your mat. Roll the ball, forward and back. Option to keep the knees down. Otherwise, float those knees. Hips are as square as you can get them. Four more here. Three. Last two. And last time. Carefully bring those knees down. Let's come all the way down onto our belly. Toes the width of the mat. Arms come in front of you, hands on the ball, shoulders down, belly is lifted. From here, we roll the ball in for two and out for two. In and out. Sliding those shoulder blades down the back throughout the exercise. Nice. Now we add in a flutter kick of the feet as an option. In and out. In and out. You can stay here or add some arms over and through. Over and through. Nice big sweeping circles with those arms. Good. Those leg kicks are coming right from the glutes here, guys. Two more each side. Last time each side. And last time. Arms come forward, just a flutter kick. Eight. Bring your ears in line with your shoulders here. Seven. Good. Six. Can you reach those toes longer? Good, last four. Last two. And last time. Nice. Prop those hands right underneath the shoulders. Sit up and back into child's pose. Toes together, knees wide. Turn the palms up to the ceiling. And just take a gentle stretch here. You can let your forehead find the mat. Nice job. Okay, come on all up to all fours. Hands under shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Rotate one arm up to the ceiling and then reach it underneath you. Coming all the way down onto the shoulder. Nice twist here. Relax your body. Good. Come all the way back up onto all fours, other side. Big reach and rotate. Relax all the way down onto that shoulder. Good. Come all the way up onto all fours. Let's round the spine and arch the back. Two more here. And last time, now we're gonna take this into a circular cat-cow. So you're gonna round the spine as you roll around in a circle, just loosening up all those tight bits in the ribs, in the shoulders, and the hips. Two more this way. Let it go, last time. Nice, rotate the other way now. Two more. And last time. Very nice. Find a comfortable seat, guys. Let's walk our right hand out to the side. Big stretch up and over, side bend. Reach through the fingers. Beautiful job today. I really do appreciate you coming with me and working out with me. It makes it such a pleasure. Beautiful. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Don't miss another workout. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. I really do enjoy listening to what you have to say. Big reach to the sky. Elbows down and back. One more time. Inhale it up. Elbows down and back. Again, guys, thank you so much for coming, and I will see you next time. Bye.